Hi, sixth grade, Ms. Garcia here. So I thought I would um, do a little video to help you guys out with the idea of creating this Rube Goldberg um, project here. So first things first is um, I wrote up here on my board behind me um, the list of the simple machines that you studied and looked over and learned about during our novel engineering project and just put some images along with it just to kind of help remind me of what those different simple machines do. So remember that you're creating a uh, machine, a Rube Goldberg machine, that you are going to use some simple machines to create and that's going to complete some kind of simple task. So the first thing you might do is start brainstorming what task do you want to complete. And that's why over here I have um, a flow map starting and I'm, I'm gonna kind of be working in reverse order um, thinking about first, what do I want my simple task to complete? What do I want it to do? And then go moving backwards from that and kind of thinking, okay, what kind of simple machines can I use to maybe, to maybe complete that? So I went through my classroom. I went through stuff at home to find out what type of things could I possibly use? I, you know, have tape in case anything's needed to stick together that maybe, you know, I don't want to permanently put together with anything like glue. I have popsicle sticks in case those are needed. I've got a couple of empty cardboard um, pieces here that can maybe be used for some kind of inclined plane to give some height or some depth to the, to the project. I've got some um, dice here. I've also got some marbles, which might be useful. So if you have any marbles, um, those might be really helpful with creating this project. Um, I've got dominoes. Some students in the past have used dominoes to um, create some kind of um, effect during their um, their project. I've got some cups. I've actually got some cups of different sizes, but these are some smaller ones. I might be able to use these for something. I've got some straws, and I even got some Jenga pieces, very similar to um, maybe the use of the dominoes, but some, some Jenga pieces that I can possibly use as well. Um, and I know that I can bring in more, um, more tools and more, um, uh, materials as I see fit throughout this process. Sorry, my, my computer's doing something funny there. Okay. Um, so as I was thinking about what do I want my simple, um, task to be, what do I want this machine, um, to complete? And as you probably look through some of the, um, the images that I provided on the Google slide, you probably notice that some of them are like, well, you know, why, why do you have to create a machine to do something simple like that? Well, it expands our minds. It gets us thinking about different ways to, to create and build different things that maybe, um, that maybe can be used in, you know, future, uh, inventions. So my thought was, you know, over this, this time that we have not been together, I've had a little bit extra time um, with my family, with virtually, with friends, um, and we I've been getting into playing games a lot more. And one of my favorite classics is Guess Who? So I thought, well, a main task that a player has to complete in the game Guess Who? is as they ask questions, they have to put down um, the characters in the game that do not apply to that question. So I thought, well, what if I could create something that would flip the um, pieces down for me? Um, so I think I've got quite a challenge on my hands, but that's kind of the first step, figuring out what is it that you're going to um, have your simple task complete. So I'm gonna kind of go with that and see where it takes me. Remember, this is a multi-step process. This isn't something that's going to uh, be finished in one day necessarily, unless you take a lot of time. Um, but you know, it, it's, it's not just do it once and it works perfectly. It's something that takes some time to develop. So in part two, you're gonna see me kind of go through the process of what I might be doing in order to um, build or create something that uh, can complete my simple task. All right.